Hello, fellow miners, and welcome to another episode from Spice Mines Gaming. Welcome to my 100th video that I have uploaded on YouTube. That is quite a milestone for me, and it's quite exciting. I've had so much fun doing this. I never thought I would, but I am. So I can't wait to do 100 more. So thank you very much for showing up, and thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you've been around with me for this whole time, I cannot express my gratitude enough in words. Thank you very much. So what am I going to do in this 100th episode? I thought about getting a really major achievement done or advancement. So let's go over here. I'm going to the nether. I'm going to do this one right here, Uneasy Alliance. I'm going to rescue a ghast from the nether, bring it safely home to the overworld, and then kill it. <laughs> All right, so that's what's gonna that's, that's my main objective for this episode. But first, I've got a couple little small things to take care of. Yes, this is the 100th video, and so therefore I wanted to do something big. This is actually my second attempt at this video. My first attempt, well, let's just say I finished something completely different, and it was completely boring. So I thought, you know what? Scrap it. Let's do something else. There is a funny outtake from that attempt, and I may show it at the end of this video, or I may upload it separately. I don't know. I'll, I'll think of something to do with that. But if you look on the other side of those trees right there, see that lighter green? That's sugar cane. That was one thing I did in that, in that lousy attempt at an episode, <laughs> is there's a giant sugar cane patch over there. Much like this one right here, it's over there, just because... I want to get a lot of paper because I want to make lots of books because I want to not only enchant books, but also sell books to librarians or use books for book trades. And then also, in an attempt at getting the leather, I move the cows from here to a little pen over there. You can see it just right over here by my crosshair. Actually, I'll come over here so you can see it. There you go. There's cows in that pen. It's a bigger pen than what was here. And so uh, I, I have them all over there so I can just have them ready for harvesting for leather. And then where the outtake took place was with this, this guy here. Mr. Fancy Pants has been with us for a long time. Since the early days of episode one. Oh, I'm sorry, season one. And I think he's been around since episode one. I think I may have run into him, if not the first, maybe the second or third episode. But he was just a wandering llama. And he's had his days in the uh, spotlight with this series, especially with the changing of his carpets, because he's a high-maintenance llama, and he needs his carpets changed yet again. These are his Easter carpets, and Easter was this past week, and so let's change him into something else, since he no longer wants to be in his Easter carpets. I thought about going with blue. So let's go over here. And let's change his carpets from the pink Easter colors to a blue carpet. Now that is a nice set of carpets for a llama. Mr. Fancy Pants is looking his best right now. Look at that. He knows it too. <laughs> All right, let's put this carpet back and get to work. How about that? All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do, I've got a mine cart and a fishing rod. I think those are going to be the two main things that I need to get this done. And if you noticed, I'm not wearing my elytra because I want to be wearing as much protection as possible. I thought about crafting another suit of armor with blast protection, but it turns out this suit of armor I'm wearing now already has some blast protection on it. So yay, I don't have to do that. All right, I'm pretty sure that was everything. Yep, that's everything I wanted to take care of, so I'm going to head to the nether to the spot that I've picked out where I'm going to drag this ghast into the overworld, and I'll kind of give you an explanation of what I think is going to happen, and then we'll see how miserably I fail at it. Okay, I'm coming upon the area here. It's quite a walk, but I've got this, I've got like a line of torches that goes from where I, uh, where my, uh, the, the little minecart station that I made outside my nether portal all the way to here to be a clear path so I can easily get here. And there's already a ghast in the area, so if I see him, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing taken care of. But I'm hoping that he won't show up soon enough so that I can at least get that in place and get this ready. 
So I think what's going to happen. Okay, I see. And this this area is definitely big enough for gas to spawn anywhere along my peripheral vision here. And while I was making this and kind of doing a little bit of landscaping around here, there were several ghasts. I think there were three or four of them that had popped up just like up here, over here, even down here, and up here. So they they do spawn in this area. I'm I'm definitely close enough, or far enough away, and in a good enough spot that I will get plenty of gas spawns. But anyhow, beyond that, uh, I use this to clear out some zombie pigmen that are getting in the way. And this is just kind of a little alcove that I could run in here, gather, you know, my wits or whatever, and heal up if, the, if things go wrong. But anyhow, I've got this minecart on these tracks here. And I have this switch. And when I throw that switch, it's going to be a redstone signal that powers that rail and sends that cart forward. Yeah, there's two ghasts at least in the area. But anyhow going to send this minecart forward and it's going to stop right here and there's going to be a ghast sitting in a minecart just sitting right here. Meanwhile, I'm going to be behind this wall. I'm going to come down here and then in theory, I should be able to jump up here, break that minecart and he'll hop into the nether portal. If all goes to plan, that's how it's going to work. And how I'm going to get him in this uh, minecart is with this good old fashioned fishing rod. I'm going to reel him in, and hopefully, now this is where, there, this is a complete unknown right here. I have no idea what's going to happen here. I'm going to have to hook him somehow and then drag him into this cart, I think. I think. <laughs> in theory, that's how it should work, so we'll see. So what I need to do here, I want to put up these walls here just so once that ghast gets moving and gets stuck right there, I can hide behind here and he won't be blasting anything. Because if he can't see me, he won't shoot me. And so I wanted to make sure it's protected. He doesn't blow these up or whatever. I mean, I guess if he does blow up the tracks, if he's in the minecart, he should blow up the minecart too. And, you know, everything should go to plan. But I want as few variables as possible in this. So I think this is probably the most controlled way of doing this. So I'm going to wait around. When a ghast comes about, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna come back in on the video. I'm gonna try to reel him in, get him in this minecart, get him in the overworld. I could be doing this all wrong, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So, give me just a moment to find a ghast. Oh, here he is. He just popped right up. Okay. Don't blow up my stuff. Never done this. I, I got him. Nope, I don't. Go, go. I'm stuck on something here. Okay. If I don't talk, I'm concentrating on killing this guy. Whoa, this is dangerous here. Okay, let's see if I can get over here. Oh, I got two of them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got one. Got one. Got one. <laughs> oh, this is not good. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he broke loose. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Cart. Get in that cart. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is not cool. Oh, fell in the hole. Wow. Uh, <laughs> this is intense. Okay, one of these guys is going to have to go. I can't do two. Okay. You, come here. I need you. Okay, 
Come over here. Come on. It's a miracle that my minecart is still here. <laughs> oh, great. And there's another one. This is not good. Luckily, I have my armor on. <laughs> wow, this is... I think my chances... Okay, let's try this. I have another idea. Forget the minecart. These guys just don't quit. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay, now, come this way. Come this way. Ah, I got loose. Or he got loose. Whew. Okay. I am going to... Probably losing frame rate here before long. <laughs> I gotta watch out. There's some uh, deep holes around here. Right, come on. I might have to reset here. <laughs> Okay, let's run off here. Fishing rod is doing okay. Oh, look at that hole right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Okay, this, this is dangerous right here. This is what I'm talking about. some of this fire here. Okay, let me get some of this fire put up, get these holes patched up, and let's try this again. I have another idea. And here's another one. Oh, he's right there by the, uh, what I need, where I need him. Okay. I'm gonna try something new. Got him. I'm gonna back up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to drag him in. Come on. Whoops. Come on. You're coming with me. Okay, let's run this way. See if I can get him to come back. Hit him. Okay. <laughs> okay, here he is. Whoop. I don't know what happened there. Uh, these guys are worse than villagers. See if I can go behind here. I gotta do some repair here. Maybe I can draw him closer. I just fixed that, pal. Okay, he's still way off. Could despawn by the time uh, by the time I encounter him again, but we'll see. Okay, well that was close. I got him right here by the portal. Oh. Okay.
Okay. Well, my plan is, is to grab him and go through this portal just beyond it here. You know what? Let me open this up just a little bit more here. There. That'll give me a place to go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Got him. Nope, I don't. Okay, here we go. He's had. Come closer. Okay. He is not cooperating. Surprise, surprise. Okay, come here. Come here. There, come on. Okay, this is going to be dangerous because there's a pit right there. Okay. Ah, okay, this is not easy. <laughs> Okay, I'm in a sea of fire now. Go that way, thank you. Okay, I need to eat here really quick. Okay, now you're in a slightly f more favorable spot here. Come on, now. Come this way. There we go. Whoa. Right in the face. <laughs> Come here. No, you're going the wrong way. Why would this fishing rod cast? That's weird. There. Okay. Come on. Come this way. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't. Okay. Here we go. This is favorable. Ah. It broke. I gotta get rid of some of this fire. This is just nuts. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to start over again. Oh, 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 oh he's right there, he's right there. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Okay. You stupid fishing rod. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck in a hole here. Okay, yeah, this is just too much here. Okay. Okay, well, another failed attempt. Let's try again. Okay, here's another ghast, and I'm th I've put my thinking cap on. <laughs> I have an idea here. I have an idea. If this doesn't work out, this is this is unacceptable. <laughs> okay. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'm going to cover this area in cobblestone. Because this is just not working. Not working at all. And I'm stuck in a hole. Okay. This is really frustrating. It's the, the hook, it just goes out and then stops. This is dangerous. A dangerous spot right here. Come here. I'm tired of you back talking to me. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. Why does it let go? 
Okay. Yeah, this is not acceptable. Okay, so. I think what I need to do is push reset on this. It's just one more try here. This fishing rod is just, it's inconsistent. Sometimes you can cast it and it goes a long ways and sometimes it just goes like two blocks ahead of you and just drops. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, healed up. What's my armor look? Great. Oh, he's way over there. Hey, come over here. Okay, I wonder if I could sneak up on him. This isn't going to work. But I wonder if I could sneak up on him. Because it looks like he might be stuck. Or he just disappeared. I don't hear him anymore. Yeah, he disappeared. Okay, well, okay, I'm going to push pause on this. I'm going to go get a massive cobblestone, and I'm just going to cover this area in cobblestone because it's just a matter of time before one of these blocks that's just the wrong one is going to explode, and it's going to open up a gaping maw underneath me, and I'm going to fall to my doom. And I know there is a sea of lava below here. That would not be a good thing. So, I'm going to cover this area in cobblestone. Top to, or not top to bottom, but just this whole floor. And uh, then I'm going to try that because at least the cobblestone won't blow up and at least it won't stay on fire like this. The fire will eventually go out. And so, let me go ahead, get that taken care of, and I'll be right back. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to call it a day here. This, I mean, it's unfortunate. I mean, I wish I could have been successful at this, but this is a hard challenge. I think this is the hardest one so far that I've ever had to do. And I've got, well, yeah, he's somewhere else. I'm not going to worry about it. If he comes around the corner, then, well, we'll take care of it. But otherwise, um, I've got this different set up here. I've got a minecart raised up. My thinking on this is, and I've been sitting here way too long. <laughs> That's why I'm just ready to give up. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> if I can hook one and get this minecart between me and the gas without the gas blowing this up, I could reel it in. And as long as that gas comes in contact with that minecart, it should jump in the minecart. Then I would have a floating ghast. I could run back here to kind of get get my bearings. And then what I would need to do is find a way to get up here and push the ghast down that way. Whether it goes in the portal or not, I don't know. I've got the tracks going all the way up to the portal. I probably could back that off. I don't know. This is going to be an experiment. But my thought is, once it gets in here, then I can block this off and trap it inside here because it can't leave. And then basically what I would do is kind of wait for it to go in the nether portal. And then I could just come around here this way, go in myself, and then you know finish up the achievement. So I might have to tackle this part off camera because obviously this is a difficult thing to do. I was hoping for my 100th video that I could do this, but if anything, you got several shots of me giving this some decent attempts with frustration, I'll mind you. <laughs> and um, I don't know how many attempts that I have made at this. You probably won't see all of them just for sake of recording time. But yeah, it, there were many, many attempts at this. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the house and let's wrap up the episode there. Wait a minute. Here's one. Just as I was running away. And, and now the fishing rod is going to do this nonsense. But okay, let's try this. We're here. 
Okay, now. Come on. This way. Ow! <laughs> this fishing rod, I tell you. Now, get him. Got him. Okay, now. Come this way. Okay, got him. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, you're supposed to go in the cart, you fool. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. At least the string can go through lava. Alright, come over here. Now. Ah, this is frustrating. <laughs> To no end. And like that, I bet he's just gonna float away. Is my minecart still there? Yes. Okay. Well, that right there just kind of sums up this episode. Big disappointment. <laughs> Valiant efforts, not rewarded at all. But oh well. You know that happens. That's that's Minecraft for you. Okay, now I'm officially leaving. Well, there we are, my 100th video. And uh, next episode, I think I'm going to head back over to the village over that way and um, do a little bit of work over there. I've got a couple of ideas for short builds, getting more villagers over there, and hopefully making some more trades. And uh, so I'm going to get back to work on that village. And meanwhile, I'm going to be... I'm going to go back into the nether and try that again. I'm going to see if I can get a gas trapped. If I can get a gas trapped, I will immediately start recording. And um, I guess, uh, yeah, start recording and finish that achievement. And that's going to be probably the most rewarding one so far because it has taken me so long. It is difficult. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> but that's just Minecraft for you. It's uh, video games in general. That happens. Things you just have to you have to back off, take a breath, and try it with a different perspective. And sometimes you'll figure out a whole new way of doing it, and it'll work immediately. That's just how things go. You don't give up. You just try again. But on that note, thank you for watching this episode. If you liked it, please tap or click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. Thank you for your viewership and a special thank you to each and every one of you who has stuck with me up to this point. It's very encouraging and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.